Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Well, Professor Pant has given us some ideas and some, some, uh, some, some, some thoughts of where the technology and the new thinking of future readiness can take us. And, and this conference is very much about learning. It's very much a celebration of learning. What I want to talk about in the, the, next, the next 20 minutes or so is how we approach change. Because I, I think we, we've all recognized that, we've, that we, we, we do need to, to take on some of the ideas that Professor Pant has, has, has given us. Uh, that we can't just keep doing the same thing and, and, and repeating again and again. But that process of change takes a lot of effort and takes a lot of thinking and a lot of, 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 of consideration. So this is really what uh, the, 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 some of the questions need to think about. I mean, how to engage with this new age? We have lots and lots of new technology. Which ones are going to be right for us? We have lots of new thinking and new approaches to learning. Which ones are actually going to be right for our institutions? It's all about how we prepare our students. They only have one chance to get this right. We can't afford them to, to make rash decisions. We can't afford to throw out things that have worked very well for us in the past. And if I'm honest, how to change our thinking. Because it really, if you start off with the same old thinking, we're going to get the same old results. So that's very much this future readiness is not just about the technology. It's not just about how to use a smartphone in the classroom. It's not just about how to use an inflation whiteboard. It's about how we think about our, our thinking that we can, as Professor Pan said, we can, we can change with and adapt. And I think the, the difference about education clearly is that it is there's a variety of stakeholders involved. It's not just about the school principal. It's not just about the school teacher. It's not simply about the parent or the, or the, or the, or the, the, the individual student. All of, all of these stakeholders need to be working together to achieve a goal. It's just simply a principal saying we're going to change the over, overnight and we're going to allow smartphones in the classroom uh, tomorrow and everything will be done online. Is that going to work? I'm not, I'm not convinced. I think a lot of, lot of effort has to go into, into actually thinking of what it is that we want to change and how we want to achieve that. But I hope we do agree that this really is the time for change. Here's the change button. What do we do about it? What is actually involved in this process of change? If it works really well, we've got a nice uh, evolutionary process. We start off with Caterpillar, we've got some idea, we can move on as, as a useful butterfly. But I think we do need to recognize that there are significant barriers to change. Change just doesn't happen overnight. Um, we do need to think about all the stakeholders. People will have different ideas and different views about what, what they see the need for change and what their vision is. Um, it may well be that the principal of the school is very, very engaged and wants to see things moving very quickly. But some of the parents may, need, may, may not be so sure. They may have different ideas and different viewpoints. It could be the other way around. It could be the parents are actually pushing for change. The parents are recognizing uh, in their workforce and their everyday lives that the education their children are receiving at the moment is not sufficient. And they want to, they want to push the change forward. It's the students themselves. We, we, we mustn't forget the students. We're here to celebrate the students' success. Uh, later on, we'll, we'll be giving out some prizes to some, some very high achieving students. And we must actually check what, what they're looking for from their education. Because that's what we want to avoid, everyone pulling apart. Uh, if you do that, 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 that's going to sap a lot of energy and take up a, a lot of time. We need to start off with a shared vision. And that, that vision is, is really important. I've been, I've been working in Saudi Arabia for a number of years on a, on a project. And the vision was very clear. It came down from the king, I just want the best. I want the best whatever I put there. And you think, well, that, 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 that will be sufficient. Uh, the, 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 the money doesn't, it doesn't matter, and I want it now, and I want the very best. But in many cases, um, the best isn't quite what is the, was, was required. And now I have to rethink the vision in, in terms of what is actually suitable for the students who are in a particular area what to, make, to make them uh, job ready, to make them uh, effective citizens of the 21st century. They may not need the same best education or the, or the best system uh, as, 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 um, as, as the king talks through. So there's, there's lots of areas to be moving forward. Um, we want to avoid this. We want to avoid the head, in the, the head in the sand. Because the change is happening. We can't ignore the, 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 um, the fact that all our children, all our students carry smartphones. They carry all the knowledge they're ever going to need in, 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 the, in their own pocket. Uh, 
as Professor Banta said, we need to move away from this role-based exam system, which is about uh, how, how do you repeat what's in the book. The knowledge is, is no longer, the knowledge is available to all of us. It's how we apply that knowledge and the thinking skills to important. So what does successful change look like? So I have focus, but we have that. It, it's very much a bit of a process of actually all working together to achieve it at, at, at the end result. Is one fish jumping? Well, let's see, lot, let's see them all jumping. But to do that is going to take a lot of effort. If you end up with unplanned change, you tend to end up with a bit of a mess. So I'm just going to go through a few ideas on how to affect that change effectively. I think first of all you have to look at your own organisation. Uh, the audience here today, it's about the school, it's about your own environment. Um, I'm doing you know, a, a first check to see, is, is the organisation really willing to make change? Is there as much evidence that actually happens? Um, does it identify problems quickly? Does it implement solutions rapidly? If it, if, it's, if it is, then it's more likely to, to, to change effectively. Does it focus on innovation? Demonstrate a high degree of trust, reward risk taking, long term focus, learning organisation. Again, if, if these attributes are, are, are involved in your institution, it's more likely that change is going to be effective and, and, and will actually stick. It's more of a repetition of what, what, what's required here. That overall vision, what is it that we're, we're trying to achieve? And it's, as if it's not just about getting a new whiteboard, it's not just getting about uh, a different approach to, 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 um, to, to some end or English. It's about looking to see how the organisation can change through it. That vision has to be shared. Um, that there has to, be, has to be means. This is not going to be cheap. Um, to, to make change is going to require an investment. Investment in terms of money, investment, investment in terms of time, investment in really in, in terms of um, aspiration as well. And that those, those, those people involved in change need to be rewarded. And that could be monetary rewards, but also it's about um, that they're given praise and given, given feedback frequently. So change isn't simply a mechanical process. I'm going to leave you with one thought from, from, from my today's presentation to this. It's about the head, the heart, and the hands all moving <coughs> together to affect a lasting change. Uh, certainly in the UK, we saw, um, uh, I mentioned this other idea of whiteboards. This was brought in in the last 10 years, cost billions and billions of pounds. Every school must have a, a smart whiteboard. In effect, it has made no difference at all to the education of, of, and, uh, of, of June, and it's something that the, the, the technology has now passed. Simply because it was just seen as a piece of, a piece of kit, a piece of IT kit that they, actually, that they, they thought would help people. But by itself, it, it, it's, it's, a, it's a good piece of kit. But what I've learned about changing processes and changing thinking, it's still about the teacher at the front imparting knowledge in, in a different, in, this, in the same format. Um, what's in it for me, I think, is quite important for, uh, for, for everyone. So everyone, everyone has to see that some benefits in change, and benefits in achieving that change. And what do I do differently? Okay, change. I have to alter the mindset, get the motivation, and shape the behavior. I think if you are going, if you've decided that, that your institution is going to, to, to affect some change, and you've defined your vision, and you've got your stakeholders, you've thought things through, um, the next thing is actually to, to identify sponsors, people actually who will take those forward for you. Um, because this is, this is something that's going to take, it, it take place in addition to the day job. Um, these sponsors, uh, as I said, were, were, were from a variety of stakeholders, from the school management, from the teachers, from the parents, and importantly from the students. And those change sponsors really have to have the power. And that could, could involve, again, the, the students as well, have a real, a real say in what's happening, taking forward. Um, they have to really share, share the pain of this. This is something they have to take seriously and take, take on board, because uh, it will be a painful process. They need to see um, the, the commitment and ability from the top that they're, they're, they're supported, and a bit of, it's a bit of a sacrifice as well that they really need to pursue this change, despite um, the, you know, the, the, the personal risks involved. 
it's back again to back in the organisation. Just to have, again, is it moving forward? Um, how, how, when, when the change goes forward, how how is the organisation reacting to it? Um, is there still a sense of urgency, or is this something that's going to be done on a sort of part-time basis? How's the communication process going well? So it's checking as the process of change goes forward that you actually you go back on that, that vision, you go back on that step to check what, what, what's involved. It's quite a complex slide. It's back again to think to, to, to our idea of the mindset, the motivation, and the behavior. Uh, the head, the heart, and the hands all have to really be involved in this process. How are we actually going forward? And, and this little thing of there dealing with reactions to loss and creating the will to succeed. Because inevitably any, any change process which is going to be what's going to be fundamental, any change process which is actually going to make, make a real difference, people will, will feel a sense of loss. If you want I was happy with what was with before. Education tends very much to be involved involved now in looking back into what worked in the past. Um, I'm often asked the question of why uh, schools, colleges, and universities look very much the same as they did 50 years ago. Where if, if you look at banking, if you look at IT, if you look at any kind of manufacturing, it's changed by all, beyond all recognition. Um, the, the, the work of going into, going into the, the bank or manufacturing plant uh, from 50 years ago wouldn't, wouldn't recognize it. In a school or a college or university, and this is not known about India, it's right throughout the world, it's still a very familiar territory. But given that we have, we, have, we have all this new technology available to us, given that we have a lot of new thinking available, how do we can tackle it? Um, I don't think that the time to change needs very much now. Getting to give us a problem, working through the change, and sustaining improvement. So very much looking at sustaining improvement overall. Just a little of what I think the change leaders need to do. I talked a little bit about some sponsors. So the change leaders need to embrace the change, they need to develop their vision, they need to shake things up. Uh, it's not a comfortable process. They need to keep, keep actively involved and they need to, to review implementation. And again, I've touched this already, what to expect from change. It's not always going to be 100% positive. Uh, people will feel a sense of loss, people, people will feel mistrust. You know, we're used to come, we're used to comfortable positions. Uh, we're used to the status quo. Um, they hold, they like to hold on to the past. They, they, people, people generally like to see stability. But I think, as Professor Pantas talked earlier, that, that we, we can no longer stick to the status quo. The technological revolution is moving so fast that for us to, 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 to say we can just stay as we are is not going to be the answer. And got confidence certainly increases between the, between the groups for how that's managed and how that's taken forward. You can bring in advisors to help. Many uh, corporates would, would bring in advisors to help to manage change. It's not something that generally educators uh, value or, or, or take on board. But an, an advisor coming in, and that just may be from your, your, your appearance, can then look at it, take an overview on how that uh, coaching is going forward, how the planning process is going, uh, are the values and visions, are, are, are they still being facilitated? What's happening with the organisation? How's the communication? How's the project management system? So again, this is just helping people to take forward this, this approach. You need to be able to identify with your organisation who actually is a sponsor of change, who actually is going to make the, make, make the difference. You need the advocates, they need to make sure that they are alive, they're communicating, they're involved, involved with all the stakeholders. Um, we need the agents to see how they're, how they're interested in spend sponsors' commitment. And above all, just as last but we need targets. How's that process moving forward? Uh, we need to set some sort of end targets, what, what we do, what we do, thinking back to the original vision, what was it we intended to achieve, how we how move this forward towards that. The, the addressing behaviours. If you find that there are blocks to change, I think we need to then think of how we can address those changes. And a lot of it is, is giving feedback, giving feedback positively. Um, the process of change is going to be uncomfortable for a number of people, especially because people are in positions of power, people are used to positions of their. It's about coaching and teaching 
to some of behavior. It will, this will help you up to identify some of the training needs we need to be involved. I think we'll have to change in that process. Um, we need to create new goals for our, for our organization. And we need to communicate, communicate in multiple forms. Um, what's, what's very effective is, also, is, is often uh, a, a little chart at the, at, at the front entrance to say to people to let everyone know this is what we're trying to do, these are the steps we've taken to achieve, uh, how we're moving forward. And when you look at the uh, report that uh, Professor Hanson and I have prepared for QIA, um, we, we give a, a, some checklists for organizations, for schools, for parents, for teachers especially, uh, and, and, for, and, for, and for students, to see where they, where they, where they assess themselves on their future readiness. How do they see themselves in the scale? What do they need to do to move forward? So it's, it's, quite, a, it's, it's quite a detailed questionnaire we put forward, and I think it's something that it, we, 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 we would urge you to take forward. And Sandy will talk a little about just how that process, how we're using technology to help you with that. I think you, you have to be comfortable to change before you get others to change. If you don't really believe it, it's going to be very hard for you to convince other people that uh, they should change. They won't change unless they understand what it is they're changing, why they're changing, how they're going to change, and what's in it for them. If you, really, if, you're in, if, if you don't achieve that, you're going to end up very much with barriers to change these earlier, earlier slides of people with a headless hand, and sand, people pulling apart or, or pulling together. Um, but you have, to, you have to respect and understand that resistance is part of that process. Define your priorities and don't take on too much at once. I would hope that uh, that report we, we've written will be able to, to, able to help you to plan out your process of change, to plan out how to see, uh, to assess how your organisation is doing, but most importantly, how to move forward. If you get that, then we've got a, a, a nice little vision of all hands working together. Uh, and I do hope that um, many of you here today will take time to read the report, uh, to engage with some of the ideas, and we'd love to get your feedback, to see whether we're on the right, right, right lines. Perhaps we've missed out things that you think are very important. But this is, this is a, a, it's about transforming our education system. And uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a big task. It's not going to be done, as Professor Pan said, by the government. It's not going to be done uh, to you. It's going to be something you'll, you'll have to achieve by yourselves, working together. So, uh, and our hopeful starting position is today. Thank you very much.